Hey everyone, this is Andrikatz. Today we will go through everything you need to know about the creation and catalyst. But before we do that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. Okay, the catalyst will become available on the week of April 12th for NA and April 13th for EU. You will be given a quest from the Quartermaster in Zerth Mortis to interact with the creation catalyst. The creation catalyst is located all the way south in Zerth Mortis within the catalyst gardens inside the floating building. If you have unlocked flying, you can just simply fly to it or you can use a ground teleporter right underneath the building. What you need to do is click on the catalyst in the center of the building the interface is pretty simple, you just insert one item on the left slot and it will convert it to the same item level tier piece from the sepulchre of the first one's rate. If you mouse over the input window you will see what pieces you can use from your bugs. They have to be from season 3 activities, from the sepulchre of the first one's rate, mythic plus and rated pvp. And you can also use the outdoor gear you can buy with the sandworn relics in Pilgrim's Grace. Even if you are not a raider, you can still get the pieces from the raid and make your forset that way. If you input, um, let's say, a 262 headpiece from Mythic Plus, you will get a 262 headpiece from your class tier set with a set bonus. If you input a clock piece, you will still get a clock from your tier set with the exact appearance, but it will not have the set bonus. Only the five pieces which are eligible for tier pieces, helm, shoulders, chest, legs and gloves, can become tier set items, which have the set bonuses. The other slots, wreath, bell, clock and boots will not contribute to your force set. So probably for the first weeks, you will want to prioritize those five slots, which actually have the set bonuses. By doing this method, you can complete your tier set appearance. Depending on the item level of the piece you put in the catalyst, you will get the equivalent of LFR, normal, heroic and missing tint. Now some things to keep in mind is that the stats are fixed on tier piece, that means that no matter the stats of the initial item, you will get the stats of the tier piece. However, any proc that comes with it, such as socket, um, tertiary stats like uh, avoidance, leech and so on, it will remain the same to the tier piece. You will not lose it. The same goes for the upgrade paths, so the converted item will still be able to be upgraded further with Valor and such. Now there are a couple of restrictions that come with it. You cannot add any trinkets, rings and weapons to it, or obviously gear from previous seasons, just season 3. Let's see the cost now for the conversions. You will need a different amount of cosmic flags depending on the piece, so bracers and clock are the cheapest with 600 cosmic flags. Then belt and boots cost 800. The tier set pieces naturally cost more, so shoulders and gloves require 1200 cosmic flux. With the helm, chest and legs being the most expensive, they cost 1500 flux each. You should be able to obtain close to 500 cosmic flux per day by just doing normal activities in Zerth Mortis such as uh, daily quests, the weekly quests, patterns within patterns, opening paragon boxes. Now if you chase treasures and rares you should be able to get even more. So far there is no way to transfer any cosmic flux to your alts, so that's a bit of a bummer, but you can farm this quite easily if you have flying unlocked as well. Aside of the cosmic flux, the creation catalyst has charges, so the first week you will have one charge, so you can convert only one piece. The next week you will get more charges. 
This will accelerate as the patch progresses and it will reach the point where eventually you will be earning a charge every other day. That's obviously down the road. For now you can only get one piece per week. And probably second in the next week and so on. The details are a bit fuzzy, so that's what I understood out of it. And yeah, that's it. I believe it's a great system. You know, it's a bad luck protection. I personally still have two set, so I didn't complete my fourth set. This will help a lot. Did they time get it uh, longer than it should? Yes, they definitely did. Uh, the bosses are tuned around having four sets, but you know, not all of us have them. But hey, they at least try to help us, the unfortunate ones. Alright, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like if you have found this video helpful. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you would like to support me. If you've got any questions, don't forget to leave them down below. Good luck with whatever you're doing and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!